the importance of staying psychologically free from damage. Stay tuned traders, we'll be right back. G'day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Beautiful sunny morning uh, Monday in Perth and the markets are uh, back up and running. Last week uh, a lot of movement, tons of uh, trading opportunities regardless of strategies and time frames I think for a lot of traders. Today talking about the importance of staying psychologically free from, from damage. Um, you know we, we, we've talked about a lot of different things over the last months really with with the trading um, you know getting good at losing keeping your losses consistent building your playbook having an asymmetrical risk reward set up you know in your trading methodology having a simple duplicatable method um, little things over and over and over again uh, and I think it's really important to understand why all those little simple things are so critical and you know I had a uh, one trader asked me um, what I meant by 1R, 1R losses. And 1R losses are, um, to me, you know, regardless of, uh, I guess, the strategy that you have, it's really important to, be, to make your losses consistent because that's what will enable you, you know, you, can't, you can only control two things in trading. We talk about this all the time, how much you lose, how much you win. Well, because the nature of the markets are unpredictable and, and are, you know, I'm, as a discretionary trader, um, you know, my losses are inconsistent. Uh, sorry, my, my profits are inconsistent, meaning that, you know, every trade doesn't yield the exact same amount of profits. But, but one of the things I can control is my maximum loss. So if, if my maximum loss is 12 pips, for example, on, on my strategy based on my hourly charts, and then timing those trades on a five minute entry, if my losses are 12 pips, it's really important that I keep my losses at 12 pips. Now, occasionally if the volatility increases, that might balloon out by one or two pips. But generally speaking, you know, if it goes that far, I'm wrong and I'll cover it. My point is that if you don't keep your losses consistent or small, if you manually put your stop in and you don't have it programmed in, you run the risk of possibly not sticking to your rules with, with exiting at that level. You might average into a losing trade if you don't understand the importance of just that losses are part of the trading process and it's critical that you keep your losses constant. Because if you have an asymmetrical risk reward, three to one, five to one, seven to one, 2.5 to one, whatever it is, that's what enables you to squeeze a profit out at the end of your sample of trade sizes if you do 20 trades you know you might have 3.3 .3 as your your profit expectancy or your your positive expectancy but that only can be done if you keep your losses constant um, and so you know I, I did a lot of damage blowing up some small accounts and I didn't really understand that and I've said that and the only reason that, that I've survived and stuck around was because Number one, I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> number two, I hate losing. And number three, I, I just had the perseverance. I knew that I was close, I could figure this out, but I obviously didn't put it all together and I didn't conceptualize that on an unconscious level. And that's where you have to get to because it's the psychological damage that you need to prevent. Like if you, you can only go to the well so many times before you get beat down and I'm sure a lot of you out there can relate to that. You, you study, you work hard, it all makes sense and then Monday morning you get into the markets at some point and, and it all goes pear-shaped and you end up taking a big loss by the end of the week and you're beat up and your spouse wants to know what happened or your girlfriend's asking, you know, I thought you were going to make money or you knew what you were doing or whatever it is. It's hard to keep coming back from that but it's easy to come back from a one-hour loss. That's easy because you know that if you're going to get 3R or 4R or 5R on your next trade, then it's just another trade. That's the important part. You don't want to be doing damage to yourself. Uh, you know, I forget what the stats were in the other video we did, but you know, 80% of new traders are gone within a couple of years. Uh, and that's probably because they just get beat down. They, 
think it can't be done. Uh, you know, maybe they blow up or they lose their money or for whatever reason things happen. Um, you know, start off with a micro pep. Get consistent. If you get good at this, the lot size is irrelevant. So, so start small. Don't lose your money. Build up the confidence to just execute and take losses. Keep your stats. Keep track of whether it's, you know, manually keeping a notebook or a diary like we talked about yesterday or using Edgewonk or whatever. Um, you know, I, I, I think it's just so important to your confidence to be able to have a simple strategy. I talk about trading London Open, New York Open. And the reason why for me is that I know at the exact same time every single day I can, I can go to work and I also know at the exact same times every day within that first two hours, the market does move. It moves every time, 99% of the time it moves and the first hour is either the trap or the trade. And so I, I again, strip things back as simple as you can to remove yourself and the, the amount of variables out of the equation and then focus on executing a simple system over and over and over again, even if it's end of day. You know, my opening range, end of day model. I, you know, what I've done is just scaled that down into the interday. So, but the, this, it's so critical to protect your psychology, protect your mindset. We talk about that in the seven step daily routine for high performance traders. Every single day, be doing something that helps bulletproof you for success, moving you in a direction of constant progress, whether it's a screenshot building your playbook, whether it's reviewing old trades, setting goals for the trading week, um, you know, journaling some trades, you know, reviewing your, your mission statement, listening to some other traders, watching some videos, learning one new thing. Do something every single day to bulletproof yourself for success. So hopefully you got some value for today's video traders. Protect your psychology, your trading capital. Your, your, your trading capital is obviously, your financial capital is critical, but your psychological capital is the number one thing that will help you glue it all together in and make sure that you can perform over the long term. You got to protect it. You got to build it. You got to bulletproof yourself for success. Stay disciplined, stay focused, and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.